trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. But she did. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. And Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. Mm, he, literally, he sure, but... Mind. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. That's not the same thing. Was. I mean... And ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. That's not stress. That's power I'm tripping. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I hate I'm you, Bonnie. Sure fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I still hate you. I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. It's cool. I like it. You're still well, a I'm bitch, glad. and I hate you, and I'm I gonna shoot it was you. I cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? Never mind. You're an I'll even bigger you bitch than time. she is. Come on. I'm gonna shoot you too. Follow me. Come on. Is this where we grow the pot? I get it. We're hiring now. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. I'm gonna touch all of the things. I'm gonna start punching stuff and kicking things over. Hey. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Ew, go don't away. I don't like up. you. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Davia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. And plunge them deep into your fucking face. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? 
God, I want to cut your nose off. Chop, chop. Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. You're awful at everything, Reggie. Look, Shut up. Things had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Dude, if you touch me again, there are going to be a that couple more berries awkward. that I cut. I won't do that again. I'm going to go work now. Shithead. I'm going to start throwing stuff at her, too. No, you have to actually cut the plant, not the oh, air around shit. the plant. Oh no. What? What did you do? These are only half done. Are those live branches? Clementine, I asked you to help her. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just, like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? I want to cut him, too. Fuck. Like, there isn't... A, there are very few people in this that I outside? don't want to kill. Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Where's the fuck off button? Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. I wanted to kill Reggie, What's damn wrong? it. Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe. Maybe it was just an accident. God damn it, I can't stand her. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just. Be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. God damn. I think we should start a list of people we want to hey. kill. 
That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. So let's see. Reggie's gone, so we don't have to worry about killing him. Carver definitely want to kill. Bonnie would want to kill. Troy definitely want to kill. Nick, I want to kick him in the balls. Tavia, I definitely want to kill. Fuck Tavia. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Well, did you... Shit! Fuck! Grab something! Well, that went well. Hammers, everybody. Hammers! Um... Shit. Why would I have to hide? I can hit him repeatedly with the sword and then he'll die. This was a stupid idea. Not like a massively stupid idea. How is this gonna help? Okay. Um, there was definitely not enough force and pressure for that to happen. So, bullshit on that. Hey, screwdriver, grab the screwdriver. Okay, we'll take this. Thank you for just kind of landing on that. Spares me some of the work. Bro, I'm totally not in the mood for a hug. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. I'm gonna stab you in the balls with that fucking screwdriver, you stupid shit. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Okay, I want him to die. Like, massively want him to die. Yeah, there we go. Move a little faster. Ah! Ah! Stop! Hey! It's me! Look. Yeah! Yes! Man, bit the hell out of me. Think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I was Hug him and then hit him. That's no, good to see you too, kid. Alright, listen. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I have ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free. But I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really. But I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, we're in it now. That's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. How about we enlist we that guy? And everyone. Captain Up Arrow... Thing. Person. Superheroes! Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. 
I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! I mean, these people just suck. Oh, hey, he's Dude, the other guy from, uh... See Bill. He doesn't like to wait. He's from, uh, the 400 so Days thing. you should probably go. So I'm guessing we're gonna see... What is that one Asian dude? I think there's only four people in that one. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. You're a bully. Come again? You're just a bully. I know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't, but life ain't fair most of the time. That's a I wouldn't pathetic be so concerned excuse. about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. God, it's I want to kill this guy. Like, badly I want to kill like him. This. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. Yeah, it's fuck him. I'm gonna... To I'm just gonna be straight up. Not to lead. You know what I wish? What's that, honey? I wish Kenny had killed you. And there's all the proof I need right there. You think anyone out there would have the balls to say something like that? Oh, he did, but look where he landed. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next Are we getting like this weird, creepy pedo vibe from him right now? Out of this. Kids like you raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to, but I ain't worried about that anymore. 
It's not your baby. It's Alvin's. Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. I want to go read comics. Fuck the rest of this stuff. Cause we all know this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us, and that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. I mean, that does make sense. Okay. So both plans would be radio. equally be liable and have the more the, movement. We fire up the more the information, the better the, the plan can go. Roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell. Rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Oh yeah, from the Trust show. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. Damn it, I want Lee back! What are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so... You probably won't fall to your death. Great. Somebody's setting off firecrackers near me. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. 
Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. First try. Come on, pull harder. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk. We're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. There we go. We're in trouble. Guess we could try going in there. What about how many there are? Yeah. Okay, not in there. Okay. I hope they pass by us. God yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so none of those options work. Gotta figure out how the fuck to get in there. Hmm. Ooh. Anything over here? Oh. Yeah, there's that. <sighs> Nothing there. Oh, we can go around this way. Try that skylight. Hey, Hep. Or HCP, rather. Oh, that's Tavia, I think. Is that Tavia? I want to kill her. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? You think Bill? Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh? You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. Oh, there we go. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. Hey, teabagger. Uh, at least, I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. Mm -hmm. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got God damn it. Take the thing. Let's say we call it for now. 
We'll talk later. All right, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. Uh, there he is. There's Vince. Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here. He'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just going to tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince. Vince, come on. Vince. Tavia sucks. Get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. Uh, no, I don't have GTA. I'm not a big fan of it. Not the new ones, anyway. I like the Let's old get ones. Bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well, you little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need to draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. It was nothing. Sure it was. Anyway. She kind of makes me think of uh, Tannis from uh, Borderlands. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. The end. Next up, season three. Ha <laughs> ha. That would be kind of dickish. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. Look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, then we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would- There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's going to be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Roosters aren't exactly known for their, uh... I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Whatever. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. He's so smooth. Way to go, Candy. snagged on something.
Let's go. That's not a good job of hiding it. The antenna's fucking sticking out. Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. Won't they need my help? Well, today I need it more. Come on. Don't fucking smile at me like you're out of the woods with me. You suck. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. Yeah, brilliant. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. I... I need to talk to Kenny. Do you now? I can understand you're uncomfortable. I won't force you to be around. I don't know. I don't know if I should trust her at all. Go on back out and be with Kenny. Thank you. How does she not see the fucking antenna sticking out of her pocket? Like, that is so blatantly obvious. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. Hmm. Pretty sure he was compromised. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Oh shit. Luke! Where is he? Luke! If you're hiding, come out! Luke! I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... You ain't supposed to be out here! People been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Will you wait and see what happens? Move! Hey! I'm not sure how he found me though. I was behind cover. Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? Oh, okay. Death. What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can difficult. One. 
too. Maybe you... It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. Stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah. Okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. Then we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit or pregnant. And besides that, it's risky as hell. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? The, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest. He doesn't look like a goddamn mess. He's got we a little bruising and Bodies bit bloody, but tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. You better fix him. You better. I'm doing my best. His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> that would be kind of shitty to bring him back okay, just look, to kill him. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people, and now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Cuz How the Oh, okay, there we go. All right. I was going to say, how does right. one remember something when they're completely unconscious?
We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all Just hug everybody. Fuck it. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Well, then what they should do is put Luke to and Carlos in two separate right? I mean, groups. You never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? Let's go. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Down into the office. Outdoor speaker switch. Turn on PA. Up to the roof. Down into the stock room to meet you guys. That right? Perfect. Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Hopefully we can finish this tonight, because tomorrow I'd like to stream uh, Tales from the Borderlands, get that started. So that when the next episode comes out, I can go and run that through. Alvin. Is he dead? Okay, so let's see here. So we turn on the external speakers. Okay, now the mic. What? What's wrong? Come on, come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. And in the universe. <laughs> something funny about that. You have the project. We have the know-how. How? Come on. We have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No. We're leaving. We're all leaving. Yeah, really. That's like one of the stupidest the decisions you can make. I've, I've run out of road. Shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. 
Thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Oh, great work. You got revenge against the person who didn't do the thing to you. You're truly a hero among heroes. Oh shit, that is a lot of them. Fucking fine. You wanna run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that bitch. Nope. Fuck off. <clears throat> Get back. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Clem, where? Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? Alvin! Rebecca, I am... Oh God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and Oh my God, I will kill him myself. This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Just shoot him. What? No, I just... <laughs> Hell yeah, that's more like it. Go on and wait outside. We have to go. Can you please? need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. I'm not going anywhere. It's gonna get messy. I know. Hell yeah. Look at you. you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Fucking big man, huh? Yeah, no, I'm not fucking no. leaving. After I'm all this shit. You see this. It's not your decision. Girl. We all she want to see to this. You go with that feeling you got right now, Clementine. That's what makes you stronger than Come the rest on. of them. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. How's that eye? Just roll my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should've put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. Oh my god, oh my let's mess. get this over with. The fuck are you looking at, bitch? Don't act like you didn't love every second. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, well, I think he's dead. Holy fucking shit. Let's go. Damn. That was 
immensely satisfying. Thankfully, it didn't take, you know, a gazillion episodes to get to that fucking point. But wait, we're only on episode three. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. So where Come are we on. gonna go from here now that the main about. bad guy yeah, is dead? We're never gonna make it through this. Are you kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit! I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. Alright, so let's hack up a couple of them and then just smear their stuff all over us. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Do it quick. I thought they smelled bad. The rest of them get close on the outside. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Like a fresh okay. summer breeze. Okay. Turn around. It smells gross. Everybody shut the fuck up and get going. Okay, honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Her Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost all us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you, you hear me? God, I hate him. Troy. Troy, we talked about this. What? The fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is. I did. But now we can leave. Troy. You can come with us. Hi, how you doing? What? Coming through. Well, where would we go? I don't want to take him with. Away from here. Fuck him. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we. Go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you shut my dick up. Come on. Don't make any noise. Got it? They might hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. That was beautiful. This is fantastic. I need more ammo. I got this. Right. Is that Tate? Where's Bill? We need him up here. Okay, um, they're firing bullets all over the fucking place. How are we not getting hit? Gotten, gone completely tits up thanks to those dickheads firing at everything. Come on! Are you shitting me? Just 
Cut her fucking arm off. There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. That's perfect. <laughs> That's how you fucking end an episode. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as... Vicious too. Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, Daddy. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Oh man, I would have thought that the amount of people who watched Carver get killed uh, would have been a shitload larger than that. Well, we're almost out of the woods. Two episodes left to go.
Well, it's certainly been an interesting journey so far. Who have we lost in the process? We've lost Walter. Uh, Omid. Uh, shit, who else have we lost? Reggie, I don't count because Reggie sucked. I'm guessing... Uh, Sarita's going to go... Because, I mean, you don't get bit and not, you know, die. That's kind of integral to the whole lore. We lost a ton of people, to be honest. And we've got two episodes left. I'm pretty sure we can finish this off tonight. And that chapter was kind of a little too slow, in my opinion. But I guess you kind of need to have a break from the excess. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <gasps> Get me! Get me! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Oh yeah, and we lost Carlos. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. done. Um, shit. You're gonna be fine. We can't make it without you. We'll have to let her go. I'm sorry. I love you. Kenny! Damn it, man! Come on! No way, Clementine. No fucking right! Where's the thing? Shit.
Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to say anything right now. Just keep moving. You have a baby, don't you? We can watch each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. We can go down back to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Did you see any openings? Anything? There. Oh. Yeah, how many times do we have to fucking go over this? We can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. No, you don't understand. Just You guys are fine. Just go. I'll stay close and watch out for Rebecca. Your choice. I mean, it's, it's been very clear that as long as you don't make a lot of noise, and you just walk, you'll be fine. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. They're so big. We'll make a cow catcher. Just... we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. That is like the best mission objective ever. Let's go. It wasn't all that fucking difficult. God damn. No, I never talk. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? Are they trying to set this up so that Kenny and uh, Rebecca end up together? We're safe. What if the herd is still following us? <laughs> we're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know. I know. Just... I'm going as fast as I can. Yeah, you kind of got to lay off the pregnant chick, for fuck's sake. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. 
How could I leave Alvin behind? He's dead. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know. Well, no, we there's no point in spoiling it. We're out, playing through. Maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have. I don't know. Jane saved us. I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Well, she's not one of the people that I wanted to kill. So, I don't see any reason to not like her. She's actually one of the more uh, level-headed people. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Rebecca, are you going to be okay? What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. We're gonna eat it. It's gonna be no. delicious. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. Well, no shit. We kind of got that. I assume I won't be capable. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You well, don't... Wow. You don't have the right... Jane! Jesus Christ. Shit, I didn't mean to... Shit. Jane, wait. Damn it, Rebecca. <sighs> Why you here? Damn it. Baby? You're a good girl, Lassa. Huh? First Nick is being Can't a dipshit, and now Rebecca's that. being a dipshit. No, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well... Besides, how's Kenny? Yeah, fuck Rebecca at this point. I was feeling sympathetic towards her. Now, I now she can go fuck herself. He flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know he probably didn't mean it, but it was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now. I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. It just sucks because he's now that's two people. Well, three technically. His wife, his son, and now his girlfriend. Sarita, God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There's really nothing you can say in response to that. They sent you over to do their dirty work for them? That the kind of man you are, Mike? Sending little girls to do shit for you? I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? 
That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? How the fuck do you think it went? You can fucking hear it! And he's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. I thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Bonnie. Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take it. I'll go. Clem can come with me. I don't remember... Siri season one all that well, but she reminds me of that one chick you find uh, just you. outside the city. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to? I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Was that who that was? I can't remember. She's like that weird loner Look, parkour lady. I'm a level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. These are good people. We help each other. I can't leave that. You'd be surprised. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. Well, yeah, that's because the game is just shitting all over him. He's not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. And like you said, it's her baby. Not mine, or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You coulda. Not to sound like a dick, but it doesn't sound like that really helped her much either, so... I always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well... Ha ha ha! to be mean. Oh? Oh, you didn't mean it funny you know, like that. My bad. Hide her toys. Make fun of her bad haircut. Give her the bad haircut. On purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No. No. It's not all bad. But... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. 
I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. But these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Butt pocket! Hold on to him. Memo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Thanks for the advice. Other butt pocket! Touch all the zombie butt! Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. Hey, get it? Because I took it from his butt. Behind. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. Well... <laughs> that was when I got my hair cut like this. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. Could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. You don't need two people to roll somebody over. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! Damn. Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Thank you for doing all the hard work. Oh no. Oh, well, there goes Nick. Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. <laughs> it's kind of shitty reasoning. Nick won't remember that. Yeah, no shit. I kind of figure that when he stopped if moving Luke it. Or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You got to be ready for it. No hesitation. I know. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. You think? It's get you killed. Here, use this. Okay. Just want to make a Very point fast. that screwdrivers get stuck too. Do this. 
You want something like a, a, a long blade, like a katana. Or a machete. Okay. Just calm down. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Hi, how you doing? See, it's terrible. With that, you're getting a little too close, hand-wise. With the hatchet, at least you've got an overhead swing at a little bit of distance between your extremity and its mouth. Pick out the knees first, what are you then doing? put a knife in the back it? of its head. Down. You gotta fucking told her that the. All right. Ah! What we've got on deck. Why do you wait until after the fact? <laughs> Stupid fuck. Stabby. Glad you're paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, most of these guys are gonna have nothing on them. But it's worth taking a look when it's not too risky. It's gonna take some work to get over there. Let's go. Hi, we're zombie witnesses. Have you heard about the great screwdriver? The In the back of your head. Trick, huh? Um, I don't think that's gonna work that's here. Walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the what interest the of the dead? People. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we, we can lower those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? You could just hit a random thing. Okay. You really don't have to make that much noise. No, no, no. Come on. Steven Weber did not appreciate that. Okay. Ooh, car. Turn on a car alarm. Hell <laughs> yeah! Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Hmm. It's not gonna help. Is there like a brick or something I can use? Yes, sweetie. Yes, sweetie. Hi. Has he got anything I can use? What are you thinking? Yeah, that that works. The horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. <sighs> There we go. Teaching zombies how to drive. It's working. I like how there's no what's that fucking noise? Come Who's on. operating that car out there? Oh shit, look out behind you! There we go. Come on. Wait. What? Crap. We gotta move it. Did he fall over or what? It's locked. 
Then try something else. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Wait, why am I breaking this door down? That's a terrible idea. Hurry! That's, that was a terrible idea. There's no Don't way that you could reclose that door. You've basically just broken the lock. else now. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. Kill her. Matter? You gotta help. What? He yeah, over. Yeah. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't, we can't, we can't stay here. Yeah, no shit. That's what we're trying to I not do. Out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long. And then while she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we going to do about her? Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. You're right, so we're trying to we, get we out get of her. Up or, or we gotta get her up, or we gotta... I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. I need you to listen to me, okay? It's important. She doesn't need the hugging. She needs to kind of get kicked in the butt a bit. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love, and for stupid reasons. Not helping. Close, close, close the shades. Close the shades. What, what about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's Hang not gonna on work. Back there. My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Okay, how have you not figured out Clem, that he is a complete wreck? Okay, uh, let's the do fridge. the fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Son of a bitch. Okay. Can we use this? It's not big enough. Uh, okay. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On 
three. One, two, three. All right, let's push. Mush. Brush. Mush. Clem. Clem, help her. Help Jane. Okay, go, go. Keep pushing. Go. Push. Mush. Faster. What if you just started leg sweeping all of them? Luke, you first. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem! Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. Yeah! I will slap the shit out of you. Clementine! Grab her! We gotta go. Should have slapped her from the first fucking go around. This Are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. I will turn this forest around. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. I would have her in front of me just on the, the off she chance. Is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem... I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Hmm. 
So, I don't know if that's really the way to look at it. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Those high resolution leaves. I'm glad that they're at the forefront. Oh, his ear is all fucked up. Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Why are you walking her around? Just sit her the fuck down. That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. I'm just glad you're here. Wait, wait. Where's Nick? Oh, he's dead. Uh, Rebecca. Super dead. How about we uh we go for a walk? She's me. pregnant. Let her fucking rest. Holy shit. Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about too. No. No. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there. Oh, I thought he, I thought he turned into a tent. He needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. Yeah, because that went I well before. If it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. Do you and remember the last two times that I tried this? If it weren't for the baby. <sighs> like, I get the whole protagonist's... Uh, responsibility trope in gaming but when you're playing a kid and everybody's basically treating you like you're the only person who can fucking do anything that's when you have to look around at the adults that surround you and go you're all fucking useless and you know this is dangerous might as well make me the fucking queen We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beat every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. That sentence right there sums up this entire season. That. I just want the one response. Every time he says he's alone, to point about out, about hey, you it's still nothing. have me. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Hey, Kurt, Pecky. How we doing? What well, rank is he, DeZero? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Is he four? We should see what's going on.
Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's I, going on? At least you didn't say out. moist. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like how everybody's freaking out. She's giving birth. Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. All right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trample like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. This place doesn't seem safe. That just sounds totally warm. gross. Can you and imagine being an, a monster that actually line. sniffs Maybe out like placenta? Like that's its entire function is to to seek placenta and eat it. The museum. It's actually like it really gross start. now that I've I'll brought go. it up. Good idea. I'm Bye. sorry. Think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then, Kenny. You uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah, Sarah, you just stay here with Rebecca. God damn it, Sarah! Clint. I feel like I'm having to say God damn it to every single person in this game. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. Well, it's not like you're I'd any love fucking for you use, to give Bonnie. Me a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I will once I can She's afford one, Kurt. So far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. That's good to Zara. We can finally take him on some real missions. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? All right, I might as well check on Sarah since, you know, I've been kind of rough on her. I want to check on Sarah. I'll help everyone else, too. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Yeah, my, um, hey, actually my Sarah. piece... You know, Rebecca's starting. They were going to leave me, weren't they? Well, yeah. Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? I want. Because we're friends. No, we're not. Okay, we're I not. Just cool. Want my dad. Well, he's dead. <laughs> like he, super dead. When he gets here. We should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Oh uh, shit, what do I say? Um He's dead. You saw it happen. You need to face that. Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. The others could really use a hand scout for supplies. <laughs> all right, since I got a second to make a decision. I'm going to take this to answer a couple things. Um, I actually don't have a PC mic. I actually have um, Turtle Beach P12s, uh, which I initially got from a PS3, and it turns out they also make a, a good uh, headset for the PC. As far as my favorite character, uh, it is definitely uh, Clem. But obviously, I mean, she's the fucking main character of the game. Uh, as far as non-main characters, Definitely at this point Luke because you know it sucks because Kenny keeps getting shit on throughout both seasons and I mean when you first meet him he's all right but you know he's still fucking dealing with losing Duck and his wife I can't remember her name for the life of me but um god damn just like before he before uh Sarita even fucking dies holy crap he's still just Kenny god damn it Kenny but thankfully, uh I'll go help Jane. Good. Don't be too long if you Thankfully, can uh Nick is dead, because I really hated Nick. Fucking idiot. Killing Matthew like that. Oh, he was pulling a gun on me. Gee, what do you fucking think happens when you pull a gun on somebody? They're gonna pull a gun on you. Oh, 
All right. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. Oh, is the loner slowly warming up so to the idea of being in a group? Time. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Yeah, well, this is the Walking Dead universe. There's no such thing as breaks other than bones and body parts. And brains. Ever notice that the uh, shield for the National Park Service is an arrowhead? Because I just noticed that. Check this out. This gate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? I'm that gonna focus on that. For Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Yeah, I mean, if it's a lock on the outside, it's not as valuable as an inside lock, so we might as well break the fucking thing. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, and this is an incredibly stupid idea, but if we were to have loaded the cannon, because look at the position of the cannon. If we, oh no, it, it's not perfectly on. Because what you could have done is move the cannon into position, fired it off, and it would fly right into the lock and break it. I mean, it's a roundabout and uber stupid way to do it, but, I mean, that's one way to do it. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Hey, Golden Dragon. I guess it's broken. I think you have to put money in those things. Alright, now once I finish with this episode, I am going to take a very, 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 very short break to grab some food. And then, um, once that's done... I'll be back so we can finish up the last chapter of season no, two. Not even trash. Can I not go in there? Okay. It should only be a ten minute break for me. The place where I go for burgers is literally around the corner. Alright, so we can't use the cannon. We can't go any further. Let's try this telescope. Is there anything here? There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane! There's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But Maybe he wants burgers too. He's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. Wait, you were just saying that. Enough on our plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. 
Wait, no, the, the, the goal was to talk to him. If I pop out from behind a cannon, it's gonna scare the shit out of him. And he doesn't seem like much of a threat with a leg brace on. Hey. Yeah, that was a fucking smart idea. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Do you speak ED English? Okay, so put the fucking gun down. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. That went put well. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. Hmm. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. You hey, we've it. got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must we don't believe, believe a fucking word. We don't need all of it. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Yeah. We kind of need the medicine. We need these. You will wish you hadn't done this. That's kind of super stupid, though, because we don't need everything in the bag. We only need some of it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking And please away. don't... Don't Go. do any spoilers. It's just a blind playthrough, and I'm going based off of how I, I would I've do these things. Taking some stupid kid stuff. Like a bandit. I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go bring those meds to the others and bring everybody back here. I'm gonna get this place open, then we need to get moved in ASAP. But here's the thing, all we need to do is take a few bottles of pain pills. That's really all, because nothing in there that they had could actually fix any of the problems. So the whole point of us keeping the whole bag is completely unnecessary. Like, they don't even give you the option to take some of it. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. He had a lot of medicine, so we took some. Some? We took what? all of it! You robbed him? Seriously? You stole meds from somebody. Rebecca needs them. I know, but where is this guy now? Jane took his gun and chased him off. Well, I guess Jane's really rubbed off on you. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. 
I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep, that's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Oh no, that was definitely not murder. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become sane. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's one thing. Nobody's nobody's on trial here for well, saying some stuff. Just yeah. try to keep it on the down low with the uh, decisions. If you have a suggestion, cool, throw it out. But try not to to guide this playthrough. supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. It's high up, so it should be safe from walkers. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Well, no, you should probably bring her. Don't force her to stay here. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Back at Carver's. In the office. He stayed behind to stop the people chasing us. He died to keep us safe. Jesus. Of course. Of course he did. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. Glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh shit! I got this. Yeah, just take her to the place, whether it's ready or seen not. Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Wait, what was that? Okay, that was valuable. There we go, walk faster, damn it. Sarah needs to pull her shit together. You know, it would really help if we had some, uh, bayonets. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. All right, so what are we looking at? Keep one here? eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Cannonballs. 
Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Okay, let's see. We could take the Gatlin gun. Ooh, good. Coats. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. You should. Hopefully you won't always 